In this video we're going to look at respiration and in particular we're going to be looking at cellular respiration which occurs on a cellular level. Uh, this is not to be confused with uh, respiration as in breathing or the respiration system. Uh, what that system does is gets oxygen from the, uh, from the air and puts carbon dioxide back into the air so it uh, brings in the reactants and gets rid of the byproducts of this reaction of respiration. So they are related to each other, but they're different. Cellular respiration is the process by which uh, we get energy from the things that we eat. So we eat organic molecules. Uh, they get broken down through digestion uh, into very, very small organic molecules. And then the process of respiration breaks these down further and re releases energy. So this process happens on a cellular level and in particular it happens in an organelle within the cell called the mitochondria. And when this energy is produced it is carried uh, in the form of a molecule called adenosine triphosphate. Now adenosine triphosphate can be thought of as the currency of energy. Anything that evolves uh, using energy in the body needs adenosine triphosphate. And it consists of an adenosine bonded to one, two, three phosphates. So adenosine triphosphate, three phosphates. And what happens is this bond here, bonding the phosphates has a lot of energy inside. It takes a lot of energy to make that bond and when you break that bond a lot of energy is released. So what we what the body does is it uses this molecule to transport energy in a uh, coinage basically. The energy from respiration so the energy that's made from the, the reaction of respiration is used to bind adenosine diphosphate and a phosphate to form adenosine triphosphate. Now these are pretty big words, uh, but they make complete sense. In adenosine diphosphate is an adenosine and two phosphates, when adenosine triphosphate is adenosine and three phosphates. So don't get confused by those. So once we've got adenosine triphosphate, three phosphates, one, two, three, that then moves around the body to wherever energy is needed and can be broken up into back into adenosine diphosphate and the extra phosphate and that releases energy that the cells can use. The process of respiration and in particular we're talking aerobic respiration which means respiration in the presence of oxygen uh, it's a very complicated process so there's a lot of little side reactions and chain reactions that have to work to break that organic molecule and get energy out at the other end. But we don't need to know all the different ones for this course. This is the simple version. We have glucose and oxygen as the products, so there's what comes in. So glucose coming from your food and oxygen from respiration, as in your breathing respiration. And what it does is it goes through this process, again occurs in the mitochondria, binds the adenosine diphosphate to a phosphate, forms adenosine triphosphate, and that's where the energy comes. And then as byproducts, we have carbon dioxide and water, and again, you breathe out the carbon dioxide as a waste product. So respiration provides, just to recap, respiration provides energy here, and that energy is in the form of the bond between the phosphate and the adenosine diphosphate. So this bond here, high energy, that adenosine triphosphate moves to another place, maybe a muscle, and is broken into adenosine diphosphate and an extra phosphate, and that energy is then used by the cell. And that energy can be used in a lot of different ways. So you can synthesize uh, other organic molecules. Cells can grow either through uh, division or uh, elongation of cells, so cells can get bigger or can divide into more cells. Uh, damaged cells can be repaired. 
so by growing new healthy cells and killing off the old cells. Uh, active transport, so we, and we'll talk a little more about transport later on, but active transport is a transport that requires energy, so it's moving against the uh, energy gradient across a membrane as well as the functioning of special cells, so muscles, nerves, uh, special organs like the liver, the kidneys, all these require energy to conduct the job that they do, as well as the transport of material around the body. And in uh, animals, this is in the form of blood moving around the body in the circulatory system, uh, while in plants, it's in the phloem, which move the sugar around the plant, so that transport system.